in Saipan, their position was being overrun. And during the time that the patients were beginning to be evacuated, Dr. Solomon actually noticed Japanese soldiers coming under the flaps of the tent. He wound up clubbing several, stabbing one with a bayonet, and even shooting one that we know of before ordering that the hospital be immediately evacuated. And then he went outside and disappeared. What he did was he took up a position with a 30 caliber water-cooled machine gun some distance towards the enemy that was coming at the hospital in order to stop the attack or at least slow it down long enough for the patients to be evacuated. During the course of the night, he was wounded three times. And we know that three times his gun, the 30 caliber water cool, was dragged to a new position. He was found still manning the gun, unfortunately deceased in the morning and 98 Japanese soldiers were found in front of him, having been gunned down overnight as he defended the hospital site for evacuation. He was immediately put up for the Medal of Honor, and it was just as immediately denied. The theory at the time was, under the Geneva Convention, doctors, nurses, people acting in a medical role are non-combatants. And it was decided that they did not want to award the Medal of Honor to a non-combatant for a combat role. It was not until 2002 that his efforts at saving his patients, albeit by the use of a machine gun, was recognized as being a legitimate act of defending the patient from an assault, not as an offensive move, but as a defensive one. This Medal of Honor is the Medal of Honor presented posthumously to the Chief of the Dental Corps General Patrick Scully in 2002, and now given to the museum as of that date. His Southern California Dental School actually has his Purple Heart at this time. A remarkable individual who knew what had to be done to save the patient, and in doing so, although he caused controversy, did in fact save the patients, but in a most unusual way.